Oh. Dad, how are you feeling about me going to my first bridal shower? Oh, really? Chica, how do you feel about me going to my first bridal shower? Christina, how do you feel about the bridal shower? Excited. Ooh. Dad's the only one who's sad, and Wes Lisa is. What? No, I'm not sad. I'm excited. Yay! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, guys, how cute. Let's party with the bride to be. So pretty. Oh my gosh, and the hostess with the mostest say hi. hi. <laughs> There's you and Connor. Oh. <laughs> oh, fun. Oh yeah. I have one couple. Oh. Everyone needs a big bucket of wine. The bucket of wine. <laughs> so beautiful. But Sarah Rose. I'm sorry. I'm still distracted taking it all in. Give me just a moment. She did it for me last year for my bridal shower. They're adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So cute. So pretty. Look at the teacups. <gasps> what? Yeah. That's adorable. And they're sparkly. I'm obsessed. I know. Oh, pretty. That's weird. I know, right? That's when I'm getting married, people. I should probably call Connor. <laughs> Show him all the cute things. But he's a boy. He wouldn't appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Do you know the story behind this, Tika? So last year, my sweet friend Julia got married and I threw her a bridal shower here in Nebraska and it was all it donut was so themed. so cute. And one of the main things I wanted to do with the donut theme was make a donut tower Julia Barbie. It was a hassle and a half to try to find a red-headed cake topper Barbie. Yeah, for sure. Disaster. And then I went to buy the donut holes, I went to order the donut holes, and I ordered them, I told them powdered sugar because it needed to be like the bridal dress, Why? and they didn't make the powdered sugar donut holes anymore, like from our childhood. What? So, like yeah. at all? No, so I had to hand roll them, and that's what you did today? I hand rolled it three times. <laughs> <laughs> She's my, adorable. My grandma's when did the groom know that the bride was the one? Okay. Wait, who had the okay, hand up first? It was I think Becky. Becky did. Okay, Becky, go ahead. Oh, the first date? No, that was me. I knew then. Oh. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> no, I was going to say the first day he met her. All right, yeah. Sarah, do you know? Yeah. I'm going to guess. Oh, when he took her to, well, not he, she was with all his family. Oh. Whoa. That was right amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Get it, Jen. Yeah, or so what? Well, first real one. It's yeah. Huge toss up. No. So, depending on if you talk to Connor or Sarah, that'll be the first or second real date. This one is going to be under the category of Sarah, that's how I'll say it. 500, and this is a really hard question. So, how many pageants did Sarah Rose compete in prior to winning Miss USA, not including Miss USA pageant? Can you repeat the question, please? Oh. How many pageants <laughs> did Sarah Rose compete in prior to winning Miss USA? not including the Miss USA pageant itself. Okay, who had their hands up first, anybody? Go that way, go that way. I, I All right, what's that. your answer? <laughs> a little bit more. You were close, that. That's, I just taught them that I didn't win Nam on my first try, I won my fifth, oh, so they were right with that. 
Yeah. Very close. Okay. Grandma. Thirteen. Thirteen? No. Oh. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. No. Got yeah, Becky behind here. Okay. <laughs> she was first. Okay, Becky. Eight. Nope. Lisa? Twelve. No. Fourteen? Yeah. No. Seven. No. Fifteen. Fourteen. She said fourteen. She said fifteen. Huh? She did. Eighteen. It was fifteen. Oh, Lois! Well, she did NAM four times, and then we went to NAM Nationals as All-American. NAM oh, stayed again, and then NAM that. Nationals. Then Alliance, Outstanding Team, yeah. Collegiate, Collegiate Nationals, and somewhere along backwards in there was three Hansel pageants, Hastings, Omaha, <laughs> and Plattsmouth, and then Miss Nebraska her junior year, and then Miss Nebraska at the end. When you count, it seems like a lot. <laughs> Sarah wasn't interested in Connor at first. What thing did she learn about him that made her interested? Tika? He went on a mission trip with his friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that was easy for you. Were you. <laughs> what is your most prized possession? Is it that he doesn't have one because he doesn't believe in worldly I treasures? Say you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. My guess is maybe the journal that I got him early in our relationship. It was beautiful. Where were we? We were in Washington. And it was handmade um, leather and beautiful, and he journaled in it like every day since, and then he left it on an airplane recently. Oh. No. In the back seat of the airplane. So I don't know when this was taken. So let's go with that. Oh. Well, I hope he tried to get it back. This is tough. I don't really have a, like, except that I talk about it, my prized possession, but I would just say um, a journal that Sarah's and I oh, have my God. on our relationship due to being long distance. What is Sarah's ideal date? Something fun and adventurous and active. Okay. Hiking. Oh, sure. Um, what is Sarah's ideal date? I don't think she has something specific, but for sure something adventurous. Oh my god. Fun, oh my something god. that involves an activity. Oh my god. <laughs> active, adventurous, and, and fun. Fun. Right? Uh, ding, ding, ding. That is Spot on. What is one word, one word that best describes Sarah? Goofy. And this is an unfair question because there are so many qualities that I love and admire. If I had to boil it down on one word, I would say radiant. Oh, oh. So, that's weird. Right, love you guys. Um, thank you, Jess, for the questions and hope to see you all soon. Bye. Aww. Aww. He's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I give him the <laughs>